Schwarzenegger says that being governor of California cost him at least $200 million in lost movie roles. Unfortunately, his being governor has cost California $200 billion. <laughs> Republicans clashed with Tea Party members this week <laughs> over the budget. Republicans want to slash health care, education, and arts funding, while Tea Party members propose we simply close the government and move back to England. <laughs> we now return you to the House of Representatives. You know, Judy, my California constituents are actually very glad that we're going to be sitting, I'm going to be sitting with a Republican from the state of Florida. <laughs> Maybe we can put aside our, our partisan differences. Well, I hope so, Sam. Maybe you didn't hear the opening song. <laughs> Robert, is that your jacket? Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm saving a seat for Tammy Baldwin. She's oh. doing an interview for the Milwaukee Post. No saving seats, Robert. Boehner said so. Okay, she'll be here any minute. Okay, Bob, no saving seats, okay? Okay, fine. Job killer says what? What? <laughs> Socialist says what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Come on. Oh, come on, you guys! <laughs> Say, is that the pen you got at the 9-11 first responders health care bill? Yes, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I actually heard it's nice. Can I see it? Um, you see with your eyes, not with your hands. <laughs> okay, can I please hold the pen? I don't know, can you? <laughs> you guys are so immature. Here you go, Bob. Just get it back in your gun. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Everybody ready for the speech? Everybody ready for the speech. What? What? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, come on. Judy, seriously? Really? Okay, Sam, I'm sorry. Tammy, take a seat. Thanks, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sam, could you get me a glass of water? I'm just feeling a little parched. Well, certainly, Judy. I'd be happy to give you something. <laughs> Hey, come on! Wait, what is going on here? Do I have to get the whip? Judy, tie my shoelaces together. Well, you had a plan, but well, I'm I'm just just well, I'm just going to say that. All right, all right, all right, enough. You know what? I'm going to sit right here and make sure that you behave yourselves during the speech. I can't believe how far we've come, as though no one's learned anything from the tragedy in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Grassley seated next to his 
day, Senator Ryden of Oregon. The president used the word jobs 31 times in his speech. He hopes to use it 50,000 times over the next year to get a free ticket on American Airlines. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so funny. Hey, uh, Ron, wait up. What's up? Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> just going to meet with the Senate Democrats. Back to work. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I just, you know, I thought you know, we could hang out. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I see. Uh, look, Chuck, I think you're great. You know I think you're great. It's just, come on, it's one night. I got one great night. Uh, but then, let's not taint it with something we can't keep alive. <laughs> I know it's crazy. A, a red-blooded Amer a Republican and a bleeding heart liberal being friends, but why not? Why not? Now it's good. Now we're not fighting, but tomorrow, tomorrow it's back to business. Well, maybe we could be something. I mean, work together, reach across the aisle, get work done, be a power couple. <laughs> oh, I, I know it's crazy. I, I've never felt this way about a Democrat. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe it's the spirit of the night. You know, the majesty of being in the Capitol, watching a, watching a guy just so dedicated and committed to his work. <laughs> no, it's crazy. <laughs> what would people say? I can see the headline now. Senators set aside differences. Govern. <laughs> it's wrong. Ron, please don't. Please don't. I can't, Chuck. I, I can't. Can't or won't. <laughs> Don't you say that. You need to go back to your people. Go back to Hank. Go back to you. Go back to Chuck. <laughs> Trust me. I want you to do something for me, Chuck. Anything. I want you to call me socialist. <laughs> better to get back to basics. Oh yeah, it feels great. It feels so natural, like nothing ever happened tonight. <laughs> we'll always have the State of the Union. <laughs> Of Aunt Jemima. <laughs> now, this statue symbolizes the U.S. victory over Japan and Hitler, who was coincidentally hiding in a cave on that island. That's a tea party! Those are the founding fathers, and there's some women, and they have, to, they have teacups. And they're meeting to end slavery, <laughs> which they did in their own time. Only some people didn't know that. And those people started the Civil War. Yes, they did. And the Civil War ended in 1965 <laughs> with the release of rubber soul. <laughs> That's the author of the Declaration of Independence, George Washington, George Jefferson. And that's his slave concubine, Louise Wheezy Helmsley. That little baby bump is the Tea Party's way to show some racial quality, unlike the gangster government of Barack Obama. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants? <laughs> How'd that get in there? Anyway, this is the episode.
world where plankton invents a way. <laughs> plankton invents a way to get inside of SpongeBob's head, and then SpongeBob sneezes them out of his nose. <laughs> George Jefferson. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, this is when Sarah Palin and I went to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Sarah gave me a bag of candy corn and 39 Christian dollars so that I'd act real crazy and pull all the negative attention away from her and how batshit crazy she is. I hope it's working. You betcha. <laughs> President Obama will be sitting down for a Q&A on YouTube. In hopes to go viral, he'll wear a wig and sing Katy Perry's Firework. <laughs> <laughs> This just in, Kirstie Alley is fat, and comedy writers can't get enough of it. <laughs> Fantastic Four member Johnny Storm, a.k.a. the Human Torch, has been killed off in the newest edition of the comic. His replacement is Johnny Human Blorch, whose superpower is projectile vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Rapid snowfall on the East Coast is affecting every aspect of life. 